So, the new Hulker Hell Arcfall is now out, and it is kind of sort of like a, a an Arcfall version of Kin Farms, is what it kind of is, because you you have um you have all the infected running around, the afflicted, and uh, then you have the Hulkers. Now, there are a ton of people at this. There are so many people that. This is like a super, really horrible, laggy situation because there are so many people at this thing, which probably makes it a little bit easier than it should be. It's probably not supposed to be this enemy, uh, this easy to kill all the enemies, but there's so many people that there's just so much damage being doled out that uh, I just guess nothing can probably withstand this in the end. But uh, my biggest problem was seeing enemies in the end, especially at the final part. Of the, Everything's just disappearing and everything. It is like Ken Farms with the Hulkers disappearing and everything. <laughs> but uh, the Hulkers seem to be the ones that really drop the gear. And um, they drop weapons. They drop those new, um, I believe it was Hellfire weapons. And they drop mods to go with them too. So that's that's kind of nice. Now, my problem is, is I think in this, this one here, I got one nice purple um, sniper rifle. But... No sniper mods. <laughs> so, <laughs> that didn't help me out a heck of a lot there. Um, I did hold on to it. I sold all the other stuff. And if you'll, you'll see at the end of the video, I'll kind of run through the weapons that that dropped for me from the Hulkers. Because the Hulkers seemed to be the ones that were dropping the weapons, really. And as long as you did damage to them, they, they dropped weapons. Now, I think I skipped past the first part. And I think that might be right off the bat. I got a purple. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. And then there was there was nothing after that so and you're trying to run and find where the hulkers fell so that you can go retrieve whatever weapon dropped for you so if you're wondering if it's worth spending the time that you're gonna have to take to download the patch if you haven't played in a while I'd say yes this was this was fun there was definitely no shortage of people there's so many people here it was just Oh, at the end, you'll see, you'll, you'll just, it's just this massive purple dot in the, uh, in the mini-map, so, there's just, this uh, ridiculous, and it's like, whenever everyone discovered that you were getting legendaries at first from, uh, the monolith, there were so many people there, it's kind of like those days, so, um, I knew an event like this would bring people back, so it's kind of nice, it's kind of nice to see the population, because, uh, when I last played, it was just, you know, so few people that it's just, it, it just was, I don't know, overbearing because of the threat level. It wouldn't have been so bad if this had been a normal, the normal old Defiance, but the threat level situation makes it completely different. So, um, I'm just going to leave this up and let you guys enjoy the rest of this. Uh, it is a lot of fun. would suggest you get on and try it out. And remember that these things will pay you in a legendary as well, so... Uh, it's, if you're, well, you know, wanting to get some of that new legendary gear, you better hop on, because this is pretty much running for just a little over two weeks, till the 14th of November. So, uh, you guys enjoy, and I'll catch y'all later. Hitching a ride. There's more coming, so hold your ground. They never learn. Who's next? Something's coming, and it's not small. You may be in trouble. Time to work.
could be fun. <sighs> of the challenge. Look what's coming out your place. Oh, my God. 